first thing I have to say, amazing skills as an actor because when we watch you on Husbands, it's hard to imagine this is the same woman who was also Zoe Greystone. <laughs> complete polar opposite characters. How, it's the hair. how is that for you? That's just, it. It's just like, the hair. That's just it. the hair? I mean, it's so funny to me because I was, um, I did stand-up my whole life. So for me to do a sci-fi drama and keep doing dramas and if three dramas coming out next year, movies and like all this stuff. And I'm like, this is my dream and my passion. Like my inspirations <laughs> are like Phyllis Diller and Roseanne and like Carrie Fisher and all these people. So it's like these strong women. It's so funny for me to uh, finally be able to do something that I'm so passionate about. Not that I wasn't passionate about anything else. This is just like above and beyond. So that is crazy. Yeah. We never figured that. Yeah. yeah. Never. Yeah. I was telling Jeff, you know, a woman she changes her hair color, she changes her mindset. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you just absolutely adore the show, I'm sure. Because how cute is it? These are my babies, you know what I mean? This is this is my world, so it's I'm excited. But we'll talk more when I get back. Yeah, yes, we're, yes. we're giving her conniptions behind okay. you. Go Minneapolis. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> so you play Haley in Husbands. I do. Which is a completely different role than what a lot of people associate you with. Zoe from Caprica. Exactly. So which role do you like playing better? There's no comparison. They're completely different. I live for my sci-fi fans. I live for that character. I played five different characters. That was an experience that I'll never forget my entire life. This is another experience that I'll never forget, but it's two completely different characters. It's two completely different genres. It's just... It's, it's, it's like saying to Jane, could you pick Caprica or Husbands? She couldn't do it, you know what I mean? Like, obviously this is her baby, but I mean at the same time, I mean, it's drama comedy, you can't, you can't go back. True, but do you have a, well, what I was getting at is, do you have a preference between, common, between comedy and I drama? Love, I love comedy because I did stand-up forever and, and I really miss it and some people always just seem to put me into the drama, but hopefully people will see now that I'm older, like, oh, I can actually do the comedy, like maybe this is what I should be doing more, which would be my dream, so uh, who knows, we'll see. Where and when were you doing stand-up? Oh my god, I was doing it when I, I started when I was like 10, I did it like 10 to like 14, like all over LA. It was crazy, it was a funny little stand-up routine. That's what quite impressive. Ten -year -old I talked about Dennis Rodman and Howard Stern, my two <laughs> favorite people. I was quite the character growing up. And you have a background in interviewing, right? WB. Yes, I did. I was a kids club host for two and a half years. So I actually did see that because I watched really, cartoons. Well, I watched cartoons. WB. I mean, they had. Oh that. my god! I know they had the Animaniacs. They did it all. They had the best TV. The best. Oh my god! I love that you know that. That's so cute. Yeah. So what are we seeing from you in the future? Oh my god, I have three movies coming out. I have one coming out on Halloween with Morgan Fairchild called American Horror House. Not Horror House, Horror. Um, I have a movie by the people who did Paranormal Activity coming out called Acid Girls. That'll come out um, next year sometime. Um, what's the third one I can think of? Well, I know I have this project. Um, and I can't think of the other one, but a lot of good things coming. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Very excited to see that. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you to Joss for being on the show, right? This is like, yeah. thank you. We'd love to work with Joss again, so. So the nice thing about doing this interview after the uh, show is we could say, what was it like knowing what Joss is like in real life? And seeing the and seeing what he was saying on the show itself. You know, I only met him about a couple times. I feel like in not on this set because I wasn't there the day they were shooting this. And of course, anyone that's a director, anyone's a writer, you can act. I'm sorry, it's all in the same. Whether you're on screen or behind the screens, you have that passion, you have that fire inside of you. So seeing that, I mean, it was just so appropriate. It was so funny. I mean, his delivery was on point. Correct me if I'm wrong. His comedy timing was just unbelievable, and he was just really funny and like totally opposite of what he is. He's a sweetheart. So him doing the homophobic kind of like agent was really fun. Pride. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Exactly. Cool. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're like punk Barbie. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's summer and it's why not? Yeah. Who cares? It's fun. You don't want